so I'm gonna do a big old stinking haul. Okay, this is the first one from Lottie London. So it's super disco ball theme or something. I'm definitely keeping these shreds because this is gorgeous. I don't know if I've ever seen shreds that pretty. This is the Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. This is like a dupe for the Fenty Diamond Bomb. Okay, so this is gonna be at Walmart, by the way. And the first time I tried this highlighter was actually with the Vampire Diaries collection and it's legit, like it's insane. This would be a perfect eyeshadow topper as well. Hold on, I'm trying to get the freaking thing. I don't know if you can really see that, so I will put a flashlight on it. Uh, yeah, you can see it now. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm very excited about that one. Definitely perfect for a disco ball or disco look or whatever. These are lip oils, so Lottie London Oil Slick. So we got a palette in here as well. This looks really pretty. Very cute. I love that it's available at Walmart. That's my favorite store. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. Okay, we've got two more things in here. So we've got, this is, I believe, an eyeshadow topper. It's an eye foil. Oh, this looks really, really pretty. I wonder if they have any more of these because this is really pretty. So we got that. And then finally, we have this super fake false lash effect mascara. This looks freaking awesome. Look at the wand of this brush. How long it is. High precision brush. I cannot wait to try this. Let's just take a look at it really quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited about that one. I'll let you know how that goes. Thank you, Lottie London. So that's the first thing. That's the only thing that I did not buy myself. Everything else has been purchased by yours truly. So I've got a couple Walmart things that I have to show you. So I ordered this hat set because I saw Macy Blackwell wearing it on Instagram and I had to have it. It's bejeweled and it comes with gloves. This would be a great little set. I think it was only uh, maybe 19 bucks or 20 bucks. So this would be a cute gift idea, by the way. Really cute, Madden NYC. And then here's the white one, I already took it out. Is this not so cute? Um, Yeah, it's a beanie, but it's got this. And it also comes with gloves as well. So that'd be a really cute gift if you like don't know what to get somebody, you know? Okay, then I've got an Amazon, oh, this is Target. Excuse me. It's Target, excuse me. So I ordered a ton of holiday earrings because I went to that Grinch thing and I was like, oh my God, I don't have any sparkly jewelry. Well, I did, but I was like, I need to get some holiday stuff. So I got this. I'll be wearing these during Vlogmas. This is all from Bobble Bar. And I feel like they have the best. Okay, this. So yeah, it bends in shipment. Target literally ships stuff so bad. It actually pisses me off. I just ordered a ColourPop eyeshadow palette, which I'll show you in a second because I had to reorder it. I don't even know why I was so stupid to order it again off of their website, but they just ship stuff. Like they put it, look how big this box is, right? And they just they just throw stuff in there loosely. Like So I first got this. This is the Native Body Wash and it's the Fresh Mistletoe. I really wanted to get a uh, Christmas body wash and I went through all of my Method body washes. I love the Method body wash. So let me just smell this. Ah. Uh, It feels so right that I'm sitting next to a tree smelling this. It's That's good. This had really good reviews. The peppermint one didn't have as great of reviews. Don't know why. Then I got this little, not little, but I got a stainless mixing bowl set. So yeah, this was actually a really great price. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it comes with a bunch of different mixing bowls and they're all stainless steel. And this one, the biggest one is eight quarts. So I think you could probably buy this in store as well, but I just needed that for my recipes. Did I need it? I don't know, but whatever. Then I got this, this was like a dollar. So I got another little thing cause I've been doing a lot of baking. I deserve it. You know how that goes. You know how that goes. Then I have a bunch of earrings left. I'm pretty sure this is just all jewelry at this point, but I'm very excited about this. So I got these really glitzy glamsies earrings which these were a need, not a want. I mean, guys, dripping in diamonds gold. Yes, thank you. These were $12.99, okay? Then I got the, ah! Uh, stop, please, stop, 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 stop. Okay, yes, I had to have these. I had to have these. I had to have these. These are so, I don't have earrings on right now. I should put, I'm gonna put on my, like, the one that I wanna try on the most, but then I got these door knocker, like, literally door knockers for the freaking Palace of Versailles. These, that's what they have on the, the doors, or these earrings. Love those. And then I thought these were so cute for like holiday 
the uh, the bows. So I got those in gold. I think I'm gonna put these ones on because they're so pretty. It's my destiny to put these on. It is my destiny, right here, right now. And they're they're kind of like they're big, but they're not. You know. I mean, subtle. <gasps> but gorgeous. I don't remember what age I was when I got my ears pierced. What, what age were you guys? What age were you when you got your ears pierced? Or do you not even have your ears pierced? And where did you get them pierced? I think I went to Claire's. Okay, and then finally we got one more package here. Oh, this is ColourPop stuff. Cool. Oh my God, don't even tell me it's happening again. Don't even tell me history is repeating itself. Uh you're kidding me dude there's something up with these packaging so i got another one of this because i literally you guys i'm so sorry i love this palette so much and i just had to get another one these are such good gifts by the way the color pop little holiday kits they came out with are so good so i got this one and then i also got this one which is the cool tone one now this one i had to reorder because the last one came and it had just obviously been shaken about and the black eyeshadow actually fell out now i'm kind of concerned because this one i can already tell has got you know black stuff all over it so i don't know if it's gonna fall out again but this is like basically a dupe you know if the formula is similar to the natasha denona mini xenon palette almost like tit for tat okay so i'm just kind of concerned about the eyeshadows popping out because they were kind of loose in my last one but these are so great like they come with a eyeliner the gel liner like and they're 12 bucks boo enough of that and then i also got this because i just had to do it so this is the uh, ColourPop super shock shadow duo i really got it for this shade right here it's called ice dream and i had to have this because it's a duochrome shifting like glittering blue okay let me get my <gasps> i just dropped this oh my god i just dropped it on the friggin can we see this or no let me zoom in the blue shift or not really here there it is on that's the look at that <gasps> so pretty right so booze in the look at, what are you what are you doing you just like to be in a box okay all right so let's continue this haul by the way let's continue the haul so yeah that's everything that i got from that i just i feel like there's a lot of great gift ideas in here for, to get other people a little sort of semi inexpensive things, but okay, this one I'm so excited for. You do not understand. This is probably the one I am most excited for to get. I ordered this the other day because I sprayed on myself. You know when I did my perfume haul? The Aeropostel Live Love Dream, okay? And it, I said, this is one of my favorite perfumes. It's discontinued. People are reselling it for like $300, not really, a hundred and something dollars. And they need to bring it back because it's the only perfume I ever get compliments on. Like, I get so many compliments. And for some reason, I decided to spray it on myself that day. And Jarvis was like, oh my God, you smell so good. And then I remember that the last time I wore it, I also got a compliment. And it was I went to the dentist. And the front lady was like, you smell so good. What is that? And I was like, I don't, I can't, they don't sell... They have the body mist back in stock on the website. I almost had a heart attack. I bought three. Okay, I hope that this is the true deal, the real deal here. This better be the real deal. They're $9.99. It's the real deal. It's the real deal. Boo, go away, because I don't. I know you don't like sprays. You're gonna get scared, boo. Boo, you're gonna get scared. It's it, this is it. This is it. It's the real thing. My prayers have been answered. My prayer, I, I am not kidding when I say that I, my actual prayers have been answered. It's back. And there's no dupe for this. I have searched high and low. There is no dupe for this. None. And I finally have it now. So go order your Aeropostale and tell them to bring it back in the actual perfume, please. So I did order three of those because I was nervous. Because I was nervous. And I took a chance and it paid off. All right, one final one final one by the way i have to say that my twitch chat peer pressured me into buying more <laughs> more from old navy this is the final thing okay and i did order more from old navy so yeah 
but I so that will be coming and you guys will see that and you'll pro we'll probably get into that I don't think it's gonna get here till December 1st so we'll probably get into that around vlogmas so anyway um, it'll be a nice vlogmas treat so I I got Jarvis the matching these are they just came really really late so yeah anyway the polar bears but yeah that's my huge mungus haul I definitely don't regret anything. That's the haul. Hope you've enjoyed. I'm gonna go get into something else. I'm probably gonna go make dinner or something like that. So I just came in here to say something and I totally forgot what it was. Oh, that's what I'm gonna say. I've been following, I don't know if I'm subscribed or not, but I should. I've been following, cause they pop up on like everything. If you're on TikTok, Instagram, and you're on YouTube, it's like, it pops up everywhere. But I've been following, it's called the Lipstick Lesbians on all of those platforms I just mentioned and they make such informative videos about makeup that I have never like stuff that I have never heard people say before so informative and about like water-based and silicone and because that's the new thing right now is if your makeup's not really laying the right way they're saying don't layer you know a silicone based product on top of a water-based product and blah 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 like don't do a primer over this blah blah but one thing that she said is and i you know i've been struggling because i think a couple people know this i bought this foundation okay the house labs i bought this foundation and i i couldn't get it to work i was just like i don't like this i don't think it looks good it was pilling on my head just looking bad okay and i'm like okay i just wasted all this money well, I saw a video of hers where she was talking about, can you use like a silicone primer or silicone foundation with a water-based primer? And she goes, yes, you can. You can use the, uh, the Milk Hydro Grip, which this is a dupe for that, which is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And she was saying that this is one of her favorites because it's also really hydrating, like there's hyaluronic acid in it and stuff. And so it's like, she loves it for, especially in the winter months and like when it's colder. And she's like, pa try pairing these two together. So I did that today. And when I tell you that my foundation has never been better, <laughs> I'm in shock. And I honestly hated using this because I'm like, ew, it's so tacky. Like, I don't like it. I don't know how to tell you this, but it's my foundations. I mean, obviously it's a little bit oily right now, but it's never, okay, there's, there's some problems with it. Cause it's, you know, I just ate, but it's, and I really, my lips like, okay, that's embarrassing, but it's never looked better. It, it's never, I've never, it's so smooth. It just, it's clung to it. I didn't have to use as much foundation either because it stuck to this primer. I, I was like, oh my God. So anyway, I just had to tell you that. Cause I'm like, I'm just shooking tin right now. So uh try that if you don't like this primer or if you don't like this foundation or whatever try the elf hydro grip primer or grippy primer whatever i think it's really all in the primer honestly and by the way the blush i'm wearing today is this one i really really like this color it's the patrick tosh she's that girl i love it so great so i, lo I do love that i will say this Okay, let me do a quick speed around review time. I don't like this. She's statuesque. It's the contour little contour palette thing. This is way too light. And I just want you to consider me saying something's way too light. Someone that has a skin tone that looks like this is saying that this is too light. It's too light for, for anybody. Okay, it's not a contour. It's not a contour, it's more of a bronzer. Um, the other thing, and I have to be honest with you, I've decided I'm returning this. I have returned every single Natasha Denona palette that I have ever used because it's just not, the, the color story is just not there for me. Like this is not worth $69. Does it perform well? Sure. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It does look good, okay? I, I do think that it looks nice, however, it's just not good enough. It's just not like I it's this is really pretty, but like these are too dark of shades. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but the shimmers are too dark. And they're just 
they're not for me. I don't think these are for me. I, I will give it another shot, but like there's not enough. There's Why is there not a champagne? This is not a champagne shade. This is like a pinky sort of, let me show you. It, it's like pink. It's pretty, but it's not, I mean, it's okay. It's really swatch as well. It does. And that's the thing with these, these palettes. You're like, okay, they swatch so well. They look so nice. I just personally, for me, it's not what I like. It's not what I want. It's not, it's not. This looks really nice on me, but it's just not what I want. It's not what I want. So I'm going to return it. And um, my, my opinion, as I was mentioning the other day, is to just find one of these that you like. Or, you know, I, I mean, these would be easy to depot, I think, as well, if you wanted to, like, try to Frankenstein your own palette with Natasha Denona. But I think that, for me, is going to be a return, and I really should return the Patrick Todd as well, because I just, I need to get into that habit of, if I don't like something, I need to return it. There's no point in me keeping it around. So... Anyway, that was just a quick little makeup review chat for you. I'm gonna go take my makeup off. But I did wanna talk to you about how fabulous I think that this looks. That's all for now. Bye.